Keep a fashion on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Oh, I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't touch them. I bring heat and brush your hammer. I hit a brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Oh, I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no-band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my custom offensive and custom defensive ebooks. But if you guys use team playbooks, they can also be found in my Saints offensive and Raiders defensive ebooks as well. And if you guys want more help or more money plays, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. In today's video, we're using updated free agency rosters that you'll be seeing in Madden 25 with Saquon Barkley on the Eagles versus King Henry and the Ravens in a matchup of what's probably going to be two of the most used teams in next year's game. Now, if you watch this channel, you probably know that I'm a huge Eagles fan, but my opponent is also a big Ravens fan, which means that we are both really excited for the new additions to our teams. And I know personally that I've been force feeding Saquon Barkley the ball because of it. So much so that he literally leads the entire league in receptions, which is actually making my offense much worse than it was last year but hey i want to use my new toy now you can't use these new rosters online but if you want to use them in an online or offline cfm all you have to do is go to the creation section of the home screen then go to the share and manage files screen after that simply go to the download community files section and tab over to the roster section and find a roster that is up to date with free agency you can separate them by the date added and usually the ones with the most likes are the best this will also work after the draft at the end of the month so if you guys want to see gameplay of your favorite rookies on their new teams after the draft please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and let me know in the comment section as i plan on doing content about this when it becomes available i start this game out on defense and since i know my opponent is going to want to use king henry a lot i'm going to be coming out on a lot of cover four run defenses as i know he will probably want to run the ball with him but we shut that down right away and forced him to pass on the next two plays, getting the first down in the process to Mark Andrews, as this Ravens offense is absolutely loaded. He goes back to King Henry on the next play and gets another first down up the middle, as this Ravens team looks a lot like the 2K Warriors with Kevin Durant. And my Eagles are looking like the Miami Heat with LeBron, Wade, and Bosch, as these two will definitely be two of the most used teams in Madden 25. He gets inside a field goal range before we start run blitzing, but Henry is such a beast. What? that he instantly breaks out of a tackle animation and picks up 8 yards when we had him for a loss. He decides to run up with Lamar on the next play, but he forgot to activate Truss first. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Back on. On the and we get a huge turnover to stop the bleeding as you have to slide in this situation. On offense, I'm going to use my gun stack wide flex scheme most of the game as pretty much every play in this formation allows me to throw the ball to Saquon out of the backfield as I just want to get Saquon the ball in space so he can do stuff like this. Metal to the metal, then stop. And he'll be my first read on just about every single play if my opponent isn't watching. But I do have to mix it up and hit some other receivers so that he doesn't just focus on him too much. I actually run the ball in the next play before I use a screenplay that I suddenly fell in love with since they signed Saquon Barkley, as this usually gets him out in space with a lot of blockers. Before I hit AJ Brown outside on a speed out route for an easy first, despite him being in cover too, that usually stops his route. I try to run the next play, but he's in a run blitz right in my gap. But Saquon is so agile, I somehow cut back and get a few yards before I switch to another pass and check it down to my new MVP in the flats for the first down. I try to force feed it to him again on the next play, but he gets stuck on a lineman. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through, special needs. And he can't get out fast enough, so I have to throw it to Devontae Smith instead for the score. Damn it! He gets the ball back, and I can't help but notice that neither one of us has an incomplete pass yet as these are going to be two offenses that are really hard to stop in next year's game, as Derrick Henry gets another big carry for the first down the next play, before I send a blitz and I almost get a pick six. Oh, you almost had it. And the pressure forces a throw out a sack animation on the next two plays as he punts it away, pinning me at the one-yard line. I want to continue to use Saquon Barkley on the next play, but once I see him press his entire defense clearly trying to get a safety, I just put Quez Watkins on a streak. You know you don't fuck that, right? Who is absolute booty juice in real life. Break yourself, fool! But his blazing speed will surely be missed in Madden next year. Although Pitt's going to be nice too with him and Justin Fields. 
On defense, Jordan Davis plays a lot like he should in real life, getting the stop. Before he hits Zay Flowers over the middle of the field for a big first down. And the real story of this game so far is that I'm doing a good enough job slowing down King Henry while forcing him to pass. Gotcha, bitch! As he tries to throw it again on the next play, and we jump in front of him with another free agent pickup in Devin White. We continue with the Saquon show as we check it down for another first down before we finally throw an incomplete pass somehow, before I go over the middle to Devontae Smith to get inside the red zone. I keep feeding Saquon to get closer, and I should have stayed in it as I throw an interception to a speed out route on the next play, Oops. before making a massive mistake and guessing pass on the very next play on defense. He could go all the way. And you just can't do that against King Henry. God damn it! Back on offense, I go right back to Devontae Smith on the slant before I hit Saquon Barkley underneath as we are moving right down the field before I get a sack back to second and 19. And he is all over Saquon now with a hard flat adjustment that's obviously set to zero, forcing me to take the deeper option to Goddard for the first before I try to go back to Saquon in the next three plays, resulting in the drive stalling, and I settle for a field goal essentially ending the half. In the second half, I get the ball up 10 and Barkley catches another flat route before I see my opponent in a very small defense. And now it's time to pound the rock. He keeps running, running, and running, running. As I call hurry up to keep him in this small defense and switch to the inside zone over and over, relentlessly pounding the rock all the way down to the one yard line before he finally calls a timeout, which changes absolutely nothing as I throw it to the flat once more for the score. That's just too easy. On defense, King Henry isn't having the same success as we push him backwards on the next two plays before he hits Mark Andrews up the seam for the big first down. And even though he got the first, I know he's dead inside since he can't use King Henry more before I get a huge sack on the next play and push him back to second and long that he has to pass from. Before he checks it down to King Henry 12 yards short of the first on third and forever and somehow gets the first carrying like three defenders. Like how? This dude is so OP. He tries to run again on the next play but Jalen Carter is an absolute animal in the CFM before trying the read option and getting pushed back even further. Before getting a big first up the scene because my new free agent linebacker Devin White simply couldn't jump. And since I'm up and I know he has to pass, I send him straight to the bench before an RPO gets him inside the five on the next play and King Henry gets his second touchdown of the game untouched. Back on offense, Saquon is lit up, so I'm gonna force it to him on just about every single play now as we try the screen before taking the flat route to almost get the first, which Smitty gets on the very next play. And now he's watching Saquon Barkley so much that I gotta take Goddard over the top for the much bigger play before going right back to Saquon on the screen to get into the red zone. And then swinging out to AJ Brown to get inside the five, but he's not gonna let Saquon score the touchdown as he knocks me out of the zone with a run blitz. How dare you! And we have to walk it in with Jalen Hurts instead. And even though he is down, he still wants to use King Henry, which is totally understandable, but he has to pass at some point as we get a sack to push him back to third and six, and he tries a quick pass me on the next play, but I swapped out my user with someone who can actually jump. And I go right back to force feeding Saquon as I have been planning to make a video about these two running backs on their new teams for a minute now as we get inside the five, and I try to throw to somebody else for some reason, I don't know, as we throw an interception. And all I care about at this point is stopping King Henry as I give up a big play, but I push Henry backwards, Fuck you! making it all worth the while, before he completes another big pass up the seam on third and long to get in the scoring range before the pass rush gets a huge sack to push him back in the second and long that he picks up on the very next play anyway. And even though the game is over, he is still trying to score as he gets down inside the five to fourth, a critical fourth and one, as he tries to pick it up with the best power back in the game. Surprise, motherfucker. But Jalen Carter has goal line stuff in this CFM as we end the game. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more game plays like this in the future, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, leave it in the comment section. And if you want to try to join my league, I will leave a link to the Discord server in the description. So until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below